Let's discuss factory overhead variances. There's our example, it's MCR Manufacturing. They use direct labor for its factory overhead rate. The following is MCR's data for the month. Direct labor at 100% capacity is 12,000 hours. Estimated fixed overhead costs are $120,000 or $10 per hour. Estimated variable costs are $84,000 or $7 per hour. Additional information, they need 0.5 direct labor hours for each unit. Actual results, uh, they produce 20,000 units. Actual fixed costs are 120,000, and actual variable costs are 88,000. Now, let's discuss the formulas required to calculate the variances for factory overhead. Now, when we talk about factory overhead, you have to remember that it has a variable and fixed component. These calculations seem a little confusing, but if you remember that it's broken up into variable and fixed, you should be okay. The first one we'll start out with is variable factory overhead controllable variance. Remember, variable means something you can control um, in respect to factory overhead. The formula for that is actual variable factory overhead, and then you're going to subtract what's in the parentheses, which is the following. It's variable factory overhead rate per hour times your units produced times your standard hours per unit. After you've calculated variable factory overhead controllable variance, the next one to calculate is fixed factory overhead volume variance. As you recall, fixed means fixed costs, and it does not change in respect to the volume that a manufacturer produces. The formula for that is, in parentheses, hours at 100% of normal capacity minus standard hours for actual production, and then another parentheses, times the fixed factory overhead rate per hour. Now that we have that, we've calculated both variable factory overhead variance and fixed factory overhead volume variance. The last variance you want to calculate is basically just a total for a factory overhead. In respect to the total factory overhead variance, you'd like to combine the variable factory overhead controllable variance with the fixed factory overhead volume variance. Here, you're combining the favorable or unfavorable result from one variance to the favorable unfavorable result of the other variance. Now, let's calculate our variable factory overhead variance and our fixed factory overhead variance and then close out with the total factory uh, overhead variance for this particular problem. We're going to start out with the variable factory overhead controllable variance. As a reminder, the formula for this is actual variable factory overhead minus the fa variable factory overhead rate per hour times units produced times standard hours per unit. Referring to our problem, our actual variable factory overhead is 88,000 and you're going to subtract that with a bunch of values in a parentheses which is seven dollars per hour for a variable factory overhead rate per hour times the 20,000 units produced times the 0.5 hours required for those units. In reality the 88,000 is your actual number and you're going to compare that with everything else inside the parentheses, which represents your standard. So again, it's real important to note here that we're comparing the actual to the standard. This will let you know if you have a favorable or unfavorable variance. And then you get an 18,000 unfavorable variance for actual variable factory overhead. Next, we're going to go over fixed factory overhead volume variance. Recall that fixed costs are costs that do not change from one period to the next. As a review, the formula for fixed factory overhead volume variance is hours at 100% of normal capacity minus standard hours for actual production times the fixed factory overhead per hour. Referencing the problem, our hours at 100% of normal capacity is 12,000 hours. Our standard hours for actual production is 10,000 hours, 
And finally, our fixed factory overhead rate per hour is $10 per hour. The values inside the parentheses, the 12,000 hours and 10,000 hours, those you must compare and take the absolute value. You must make a comparison to see whether or not this amount is a favorable amount or an unfavorable amount. In this case, it is an unfavorable amount. So let's multiply that by $10 per hour. The 2,000 hours is your absolute value. It will result in a $20,000 unfavorable variance. Lastly, we just want to total up our factory overhead variance, meaning combine the variable factory overhead controllable, controllable variance with the fixed factory overhead volume variance. So our variable factory overhead variance is 18,000 unfavorable, and our fixed factory overhead variance is 20,000 unfavorable. If you notice, these are both unfavorable amounts. And if they're both unfavorable, unfavor you want to add these amounts together to get a total factory overhead variance of $38,000 unfavorable. Um, if the problem gives you a favorable and unfavorable variance, then you must take the difference. And whatever you had more of, that will be the result, whether it be favorable or unfavorable. Favorable. All these variances are very important to managers um, for decision making. Again, as they compare what they expect to their actual results. If they didn't like the total unfavorable amount, they can drill down to, in this case, whether it's coming from the variable variance or fixed variance in respect to factory overhead, why the result is coming or is what it is.